Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video. Um, this one's gonna be more or less an update type of video. 2022 was a pretty good year. I remember starting this year um, trying to break a hundred, I think, a hundred subscribers or trying to break a thousand subscribers actually. And um, due to the Boichi video, it sort of propelled me very far to um, like past 5,000 instantly, past 6,000. And made me land on a good 7,000. Um, yeah, those artist analysis videos. That I'll, I, needless to say, those videos are the, the videos that are giving me the most exposure. Now, the thing about that is um, those videos do take a good portion of my time. Usually when I'm working on an artist analysis, usually getting the material, writing the script and all of that, um, that takes a good grip of time. And recently, I do want my artist analysis to be a bit longer than say 10 12 minutes i want to try to push them to maybe 25 or even 30 minutes which in well in turn makes the research or their script portion take a bit longer so this next arts analysis ideally i hope to get it done by this month sometime this month i did so try to get them in december but um december the holidays I have to get, do gifts hang out with people celebrate stuff it, a lot of things are happening and that the last two weeks of december hence why i couldn't really get a lot done but you know you know what they say new year new me um i guess i have some resolutions to make i'm not gonna say it in this video but um at least not the personal ones i will say the stuff that i do want to do for my channel now obviously i do want to try to have a better schedule with my uploading um <laughs> I, I don't know if i could hold myself to do at least once a week so um, I'm not going to necessarily say that, I'm just going to say in general I want to upload more frequently, whether it be more art related stuff, or an artist analysis, or just some unboxing, or any new manga, or hauls that I have, um, hence why I'm doing um, shorts. I did a test run with them with a few short videos to see um, how quickly I could put, make them. And um, yeah, I definitely think I could push those out at a much higher frequency since, well, they're only like a minute long video and I do it for like any, any new art books I get. So that's definitely something I plan on doing more of. Now, in regards to my social media accounts, um, I still have a picture on I'm getting, I've been getting recently ideas of what to put there that I don't have to put on my YouTube channel anytime soon or at all. So this year i'm really going to workshop the patreon and i might adjust the tiers too um twitter twitter i've been using a lot more recently i've been putting any art books i get any new manga just show an idea of what i've gotten recently so if you want to keep a good like handle of the things that i've gotten in terms of that i might unbox or i might show you guys um definitely check out my twitter um i don't really usually post or tweet like my thoughts because why would you dare do that on twitter that is crazy for the people that go on twitter just to voice their opinions and thoughts you are you you guys are psychopaths like i would not put a single thought in the ether on that site but um that's that's just me personally um i only use that twitter to if i want to show maybe a work in progress something i got like things like that or if i want to see my favorite artists i like their photos or I retweet a nice image or a nice photo I, I that's what i use twitter for people say it's a cesspool and it is but it's accessible that you can sort of have control what's on your timeline. I mainly follow mainly artists and anime related stuff. So that's usually on my feed. And sure, anime fans are toxic. But I, I see I see the things that my friends are showing me on um, their timelines. And I can see why it could um, wear someone out. Um, Twitch. I've been hearing a lot of friends saying that I should stream on Twitch more. And um. I'm thinking about it, but I hear that Twitch is doing some weird things that it, it might be more ideal to just do YouTube fully and abandon Twitch. I say it, it's funny I used the word abandon when I barely even used Twitch to begin with. But um, I might cancel the whole Twitch idea entirely. If I could live stream on YouTube, um, that's good enough. But let me, I'll just say this, I, I will keep my Twitch account. And if you want to follow it, go right ahead. If you want to follow something that I'm not even active on, um, go right ahead. But for um, intents and purposes, I might just solely live stream on YouTube. But again, I'll, I'll read the terrain and see, see how that goes. Um, Instagram. Now, here's where things get pretty weird and dicey. Instagram, I put a lot of my social life on Instagram. 
me and my outings, um, when I'm out with friends, when I'm at a bar, a restaurant, or having straight up fun, um, I post them on my stories. Now, I'm, I'm thinking, I made, a re- I made a new account, an account on which I could just post my personal life and my outings or whatever I eat, things like that on a separate account. So I, I'm thinking like, should I keep that main account, like the Namu Kier account? Um, made it from art and if you want to see my personal life you go on this other account I'm still thinking about that and um, I'm not sure if I want to show you guys that account I'll see um, we'll see so there's that that's um, Instagram that's I think that's all the bases it's patreon Instagram Twitter Twitch yeah more or less that's that's all of it and I guess there's YouTube which I actually I'm sort of talking about in passing in this video yeah um, I want to do um, sort of other types of videos j- besides artist analysis, and I know everyone wants to see them. And again, I have a friend that said that if I did nothing but that, I'd probably be over 10k right now. And it's true, I probably would be. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to be known for this one type of video that when I do do something else, no one watches it. I need, I need to, there to be equal balance in the things that I do. Because I don't want to um, curate an audience in which they only show up for one thing. And when if I get tired of that thing or if I want to do something new, no one shows up. And I've seen that happen to other YouTubers. They dedicated most of their growth to one type of video. And when they got sick of it, they, they want to do something new and something else. And all the people, all they talk about is like, why aren't you doing this other thing that you, we know you for? And like, he's like, he, he didn't want to do it anymore. And I don't want that to be me. Because I... Because I'll tell you this guy, I'll tell you guys this right now. I am not gonna be bullied into doing a certain type of content. I, I just I will not. You could try. You could talk you could type in the comments all you want. I'm still gonna do whatever I want. Hence why you, my artist analysis are usually far in between. Because I'll make them when I'm done with them. I'm not gonna be adhere to a schedule or criteria of what to make my videos for. Um, sorry, if I, I didn't mean to make this, not a rant, but a, I guess a symphony of ideas, but you know. Anyway, 2023, I'm getting a feeling this is going to be a very good year. I definitely want to try super hard with this channel this year. And um, the, the direction I'm going, I can definitely imagine taking this far, very far. Ideally, I need, I want this year to go pretty good with, with how much I upload, which in turn will increase my audience, which in turn will help me in this situation that I'm in right now. But yeah, that's that's besides the point. Um, it's a pretty short-ish video. Um, like the video if you want, subscribe if you want, um, comment if you want. Um, this video, again, it's just an update. I don't really expect like high engagement with this video, honestly. Um, but yeah, do what you want. My social medias are in the description. Follow any of them you want. Support any of them if you want. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.